a cost-effective method for improving GPS positional accuracy in self-driving cars. Self-driving cars are the future of driving, and according to the NHTSA, they'll prevent more than 90% of all accidents. However, since these cars rely so heavily on GPS, GPS technology must reach a higher level of accuracy before these cars become consumer products. Currently, a GPS receiver in an open field can pinpoint your location to about 15 meters, but in an urban setting, this error is amplified to about 50 meters. So the objective of this project was to create a GPS system that would increase the accuracy of GPS positioning while being more cost effective than current methods of improving GPS positioning. The system that I created consists of a GPS receiver, a digital magnetic compass, and a software program that takes the data from these two sensors and uses that to calculate the new corrected position. The program works using two functions. In the first function, the program first generates what's called the initial reference point through long time averaging of raw GPS coordinates, the coordinates that have not been altered by the correction program. Next, after it has this reference point, it compares its current position to its initial reference point to calculate corrected position. It gets its angle of travel from the compass and distance in meters from the GPS receiver, and then uses these two pieces of information, inserts them into trigonometric functions, and the output is a set of corrected coordinates that's more accurate. This program was tested using two separate tests. The first test was the precision test, which was meant to see how close GPS coordinates for the same location were to each other. A smaller standard deviation indicates higher precision and higher performance. The second test was the accuracy test, which involved a small robotic car in an open parking lot set to navigate to each of the precision test coordinates. This was used to test the error of each of the coordinates. After these tests were conducted, it was found that the correction program generates coordinates with significant lower standard deviations in the precision test, which indicates more precision, and the accuracy test showed that while the raw coordinates were found to have an average error of 23 meters, the corrected coordinates were found to have an average error of 8 meters. This compared to Google Maps coordinates, which had an average error of about 20 meters. So the objective of this engineering project was reached. This system is both more precise and more accurate than an unneeded GPS receiver.